हेलो रन दिस इज विनायक फ्रॉम सेफ्टिक राइडर एंड टुडे आई एल बी डूइंग द अनबॉक्सिंग ऑफ माय एस जे सेवन स्टार द एक्शन कैमरा सो गैस दिस इज माय फर्स्ट एक्शन कैमरा एंड दिस हैव दिस आई हैव बॉर्ड फ्रॉम बैंगोड साइड व्हिच इज अ चाइनीज साइड आई बॉर्ड दिस कैमरा फॉर राउंड अबाउट टेन Uh, the actual price was actually eleven thousand seven hundred something, and with a discount in it, so I got it for ten thousand five hundred rupees. So guys, before starting with the unboxing, uh, just let's say uh, what's uh, written here. Uh, so actually, it says uh, it supports Wi-Fi, so you can transfer your images, your videos from uh, uh, without having any USB cable. You can transfer it via Wi-Fi. Uh, so it has a 12 megapixel camera. Okay. Uh, so it is uh, water resistant up to uh, 30 meters. Uh, so uh, using the waterproof casing, you can take this camera up to 30 meters uh, under water. Uh, so it has a gyro stabilization, uh, which is one of the good thing. Uh, uh, so it support uh, it supports 4K uh, video. Uh, it records. Um, Up to 30 frames per second, which is a good thing. Uh, the uh, action camera uh, has uh, has a, a touch screen at the back, and uh, it uses Umbrella A12 chipset, which is a good thing. Uh, just uh, let's see what's uh, written uh, behind. Uh, so. It says it has to a 12 megapixel camera and uses Sony uh, CMOS sensor, which is one of the good sensor. Uh, so it has a 166 uh, 166 degree wide angle lens, uh, which it uses. So it has a resolution uh, of a 16 uh, megapixel for uh, images and a 4K uh, resolution for videos. Uh, it supports uh, JPG and MP4 format for images. It supports JPG and for videos, it supports uh, MP4 format. Uh, so it has a removable thousand milliampere battery. Uh, so that is one of the good thing. Uh, the best part is that uh, it has a detachable 128 GB micro SD support slot. Uh, so you can use 128 GB of memory card for your uh, action camera. Uh, which will assure that uh, there is uh, no uh, which will assure that uh, there is uh, ample of uh, space for your videos uh, it supports windows xp and mac uh, so guys uh, let's start the unboxing So guys, this is the camera, if you can see, and this is the waterproof casing. Okay, so it opens from here. Yes. Okay, so guys, this is the waterproof casing, if you can see. Uh, this is the. It it is of good quality. it is resistance up to 30 meters so this is the action camera a very small camera i can hold in my palm okay we have an hdmi display here let's remove this cover okay and we also have a cover at the camera lens okay this let's see what else we have in the box okay so what is this this is handle mount okay so this is one mount with uh, the 3m tape this is another mount with 3m tape so 
So these are some adhesives. The SJ cam has given. There are two tapes. Okay. Another mount with 3M tape. And this is uh, again a casing. Yeah, so guys, uh, this is a connector with a screw. Uh, so this is also a connector with a screw. Yeah, so this is also a connector with a screw. So there are altogether three connectors uh, with screw. Okay. This is the tripod mount. You can see here. What is this? Uh, this is uh, the HDMI display interface for touch screen. Okay, and what else we have in a cloth, as you can sticker, and a user manual. It's written in English, so no issue. It's written in English and Chinese. And we get one USB, USB cable. It's also of good quality. But this is the shorter one. Fine. Yeah, uh, so guys, uh, coming back to the camera. Uh, so you can see uh, uh, this is uh, particularly the camera. So this is the touch screen interface the back touch screen interface and uh, uh, this is the camera uh, this is the camera a camera lens uh, wherein it's just our SJ camera has been written so this is nothing but the power button uh, this is setting button and uh, this is the click button uh, means uh, if you uh, this is click button uh, means if you click uh, shoot a video in order to save that video and in order to end that video you need to click this particular button same case applies for the photos as well so yeah so this is the SDMI uh, slot uh, this is the USB slot and this is the SD card slot I have inserted uh, a 16 GB card in it so uh, please, guys please note that uh, this particular action camera do not have any sort of uh, you know internal memory so in order to click a single photo or to click a small video you need to insert a micro sd card as it won't shoot yeah coming back to the camera the camera uh, looks uh, pretty cool so this is the uh, so so this is the removable battery i'll show you i'll just you know you just need to push it and uh, as you can and you can remove it so this is uh, the SJ cam battery so it is of uh, 3.8 volt a uh, thousand milliampere battery so this is made in China So guys, uh, let's uh, turn on the camera. In order to turn on the camera, uh, you just need to uh, click this uh, power button. Yeah. So now uh, the camera is on. 
Yeah, so I have set this particular camera in uh, photo mode, so you can see the leftmost uh, uh, leftmost symbol. So that is for uh, the camera. Uh, the symbol just beside that indicates uh, what uh, uh, what quality of photo it will take. So as of now, it will take uh, uh, a photo uh, with uh, a 16 MB resolution. Uh, so in order to click a photo, we just need to you know hard uh, click the upper button. Just like what we do in our uh, in our phones to click a photo. Yeah. So now, if you want to see this photo, you just need to go to the settings. So you can go through the settings buttons as well as you can use this particular touch screen. Yeah, the touch screen is a bit uh, slow in response. So now you can see the leftmost uh, uh, the leftmost uh, uh, symbol is the photo directory. Uh, uh, this particular symbol is for video directory. This is for uh, th this is for the. The, this is for the remote directory and this is for the Wi-Fi directory. Now we'll just check the photos which we have clicked. Yeah, so this are the two photos we just now clicked. So we can also view uh, just uh, view view the photos. So we can see uh, we have clicked this particular two photos. So we can also navigate through the photos. If you want to delete the photos as well, we can delete that. So you can see there is a, a delete uh, symbol here in it. So we can just click delete. Okay, it is processing. Yeah, so now as of now there are no directories. Yeah, so guys, uh, in order to uh, just go set the photo settings, you just need to go to click this particular settings button, and then you will be in there in the uh, into the uh, settings uh, directory. Okay, so I'm just clicking on the uh, settings button. Okay. Yeah, in the settings button, you can see there are three symbols. Uh, this is for photo settings. This is for another settings, and it, this is for closing the uh, settings. Okay, so you can set the, uh, you can navigate through the touch screen, or you can also navigate through the settings button. Okay, so you can navigate through settings button like this. Okay, so so let's see whatever what we can set so you can set the photo size uh, whatever photo size you want you can set the photo size you can set the photo quality you can set the long exposure settings okay uh, right uh, in photo size you can uh, set uh, 16 mb 14 mb whatever you like uh, uh, in photo quality you can set what kind of quality you want you can set that particular thing you can uh, also set the long exposure setting for uh, 1 by 30 seconds, 1 second, 2 seconds, 5 seconds, whichever you like. Uh, in uh, uh, in uh, for, uh, you can also set the photo stamp. I uh, mean, so what what you want uh, on your photos to be taken date time or date time together. You can set that particular thing. You can also uh, set the uh, self timer. Uh, whatever you like you can set that particular photo timer you can also so set the uh, photo photo bus uh, photo bus so you can set uh, from the require from the given values okay so you can set okay so you can also uh, set the uh, time lapse photo okay uh, say, uh, you can uh, set it for 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever, whichever you like. You can also set the sharpness of the particular photo. You can also uh, you can also check for AWB settings. You can also check for EV value. So you can also check for ISO value uh, from the given values. Okay. So you can also uh, set the metering. So you can set the metering to center multi spots. Okay. So now coming to the uh, second setting options. Okay, so you can also uh, turn on the uh, quick capture. You can turn on or turn off. You can also turn on or turn off FPV. You can also turn on or turn off uh, TV mode settings. So you can also turn on, turn off light frequency, auto shutdown, screen off, status LED, Wi-Fi LED, beep, date setup, time setup, date format setup, language setup. Wi-Fi setup, Wi-Fi SSID setup. You can also turn on Wi-Fi password. You can also turn on or off uh, which are uh, the. Uh, you can also format the card. You can uh, check the check for the default setting. So it will uh, if you click on this particular button, it will reset it to it to the company settings. And uh, I don't know what this is. It's just seven five star. Okay. So now if you want to come out of the settings, you, you just need to click this particular cross button or you can also click the settings button. So you, 
you will be out of this uh, particular settings so this was uh, all about the uh, you know uh, the photo settings so now guys if you want to uh, you know uh, set uh, if you understood the video what you need, to, you, you need to do so in order to go from photo mode to video mode you just need to click once this power button so guys you can see this so see the symbol this particular symbol so now we have gone from photo mode to video mode so in order to sh start the stu uh, shooting uh, we just need to click this particular button uh, the upper button okay this button we just need to click that once we click that you can see as soon as we click that you can see this particular uh, you know uh, the timing starts so it uh, gives the status of uh, what uh, for uh, for what amount of timing which we are recording so now as of now it is incrementally increasing the numbers that means we are shooting okay if you want to stop, stop that shooting and we have to save that video we just need to again click this particular upper button okay yeah so guys now you can see so it has stopped yeah so in order to check the videos which we have clicked we just need to go to the settings uh, the similar way which we did for the photos okay so now this is the uh, video directory we just need to click on the video directory so yeah now you can see that these are the videos which we have recorded okay we can also navigate through the videos and we can also see the videos which we have shooted I'll show you just click on this video and just click on this play button it will play yeah so it was a short video so you can also play this you can also navigate okay you just need to click this arrow you can navigate you can play okay you can also play the video you can see the video is playing okay you can also play this video you can also just select the videos which you, you need to delete you can also select this okay delete it just processing delete yeah now we have deleted all the videos yeah uh, so guys uh, uh, as you know that uh, we are in video mode uh, so to set the uh, video setting we just need to click on the settings button uh, you know where uh, where the setting button is so this is the setting button we just need to click on that particular setting button okay as soon as we click on this setting button we will be navigated to uh, the setting screen so here you can see uh, uh, there are the similar things we can set the video settings we can turn on and turn off the, some of the features with the second icon and this is the cancel button now he, here you can see we can set the video resolution yeah uh, in video resolution we can set it to 4k 25 frames of second with 16 is to 9 ratio we can set it to 2.7k uh, resolution with 25 frames per second with 4 is to 3 resolution per second so there are many of them uh, so we can uh, we can select any of the uh, uh, any of the video resolutions okay so this was about the video resolutions now regarding the video quality we can set the video quality to fine uh, super fine fine and normal so what kind of video quality do you want you can set it accordingly now we can also set the fov we can set it to fov uh, to uh, wide medium and narrow okay so you can set so there are slow motion we can't set this slow motion this is disabled auto low light it is disabled the iris sensor setting it is disabled okay now this is you can uh, change the detection setting you can set it to medium high low or you can even turn it off okay now there is a, there are dual file setting so you can set it on or off okay now there is video stamp uh, so in video stamp uh, do you want date time or both date and time on the video so you can set that okay so now time loss video so what kind of time loss video do you want for one second two second five seconds or ten seconds you can select any of them okay uh, so loop recording uh, in loop recording uh, what kind of loop loop recording do you want for two minutes three minutes or five minutes you can set any of them okay you can set uh, car dv okay 
uh, in KDB uh, you can turn it or uh, turn on or turn off you can have you can control the microphone value the inbuilt microphone uh, of the camera uh, to 80% 90% or 100 complete 100% you can set the microphone volume you can also uh, set the sharpness of the video you can set it to strong normal or soft you can select any of them okay you can also set the EWP you can set the EV value you can set the ISO you can set the metering of the video to be taken now let's check the settings so we can also turn on the quick capture okay we can turn on or turn off the capture you can the DD of functionality is uh, disabled you can turn on or turn off the FPV okay now you can turn on the TV mode you can choose the light frequency okay 50 Hertz or 60 Hertz okay you can uh, yeah, you can turn on or turn off the uh, uh, you can turn on or turn off the auto shutdown so you uh, we can select 3 minutes 5 minutes so you select any of them for say let's say for example uh, you select 3 minutes for 3 minutes if you haven't touched the camera uh, the uh, touch screen will automatically turn off which is good feature in terms of power savings okay now uh, screen off feature you can set the screen of feature status LED Wi-Fi LED uh, in order to indicate you can turn on and turn off the Wi-Fi LED you can set the beep you can turn on and turn off the beep you can set the date you can set the time okay you can set the date format you can set the language there are various languages in it okay uh, in date format uh, it is uh, year month day day month year there are three formats altogether in languages there are English uh, Italian, French, there are a lot of la uh, other languages. Okay, you can turn on and turn off the Wi Fi from here as well. Okay, you can set the Wi Fi, uh, you can set the Wi Fi SSID, you can set the Wi Fi password from here. Okay you can format the memory card from here you can set the default setting from here okay just click on this uh, cross arrow in order to get out from the settings okay as if you can see uh, this particular symbol here that, that is the microphone symbol so as of now it is uh, you know uh, it is uh, turn off the inbuilt microphone so if you want to turn on that particular microphone you just need to click the power button once so you can you can see the color change to the orange so that means that uh, the inbuilt microphone has turned on okay so now guys if you want to turn on the wi-fi you just need to click this particular uh, uh, upper button the uh, the click button you just need to hard press the uh, click button so in that will turn on the wi-fi so now you can see the wi-fi has been turned on so if you want to turn off the wi-fi you can hard press the click button again So that has turned off the Wi-Fi. So this is the battery symbol, which indicates the amount of battery left in it. Uh, that's uh, so. These are all the things uh, which we have in our SJ Cam. So that's it, guys. Uh, just uh, wait for the review video of SJ Cam. Thank you.